In Mark chapter 11, we see the triumphal entry of Jesus into Jerusalem. Jesus clearing the temple of merchants and a challenge to Jesus' authority. But right in the middle of the chapter, there are three very interesting verses about Jesus cursing a fig tree. Listen as I read beginning in verse 12. The next morning, as they were leaving Bethany, Jesus was hungry. He noticed a fig tree in full leaf a little way off, so he went over to see if he could find any figs. But there were only leaves because it was too early in the season for fruit. Then Jesus said to the tree, May no one ever eat your fruit again. First, notice that the fig tree had leaves but no figs. And that's not normal. We call it false advertising. And I think Jesus agreed. The leaves and the figs normally come in together. Then notice that the fig tree didn't have figs because it wasn't the right season. It wasn't really supposed to have figs. The leaves said the figs are here, but the figs weren't. In response, Jesus said to it, let no one eat fruit from you ever again. The tree was cursed for its early leaves, not for its lack of fruit. Like Israel in the days of Jesus, it had the outward form, but no fruit. In this picture, Jesus warned Israel, and I believe he warns us, of God's displeasure when we look like we have fruit, but there's no fruit to be found. God isn't pleased when his people are all leaves and no fruit. So today, let you and I ask God to help us bear much fruit.